traffickers, sometimes known as community elders, exploit children from the vulnerable region like Karamoja into forced begging and domestic servitude. In some cases, traffickers force children to meet them at the international borders, others transferred in Kampala to stage on streets to make money. Right now, um, the, the streets are full of children who are brought to actually beg. It has turned into a business and uh, as you interact with a child and try to understand why they're on the streets, there is an adult monitoring and the child reports to and um, um, they don't allow them to leave even when a child would want to voluntarily leave the streets. The, the, the adults around them would not uh, allow them to leave. As an organization, we, we, we do not have the mandate to get the children off the streets. That mandate is with KCCA and uh, probation and social welfare officer. So we, we work in collaboration with them. But if I find a child today and uh, they want to get off the supervisor on the streets would, would not allow them to leave, which is a challenge because um, the children are exposed to so many dangers while on the streets and uh, many desire to actually be out of uh, the streets. Maureen Ikitiwa Muwange, the country director, Dwelling Places, an organization that looks after homeless children from the various areas, noted that they are faced with the challenges of continuous child trafficking, which is evident through the increasing number of street children, yet the government, their organization and other stakeholders have always fought to remove these kids from the streets. But those that have brought them, they are dictated otherwise. And it's a challenge to us. Of course, um, we have to be in conflict all the time to try and uh, fight for the right of the child. And, um, but we believe that um, we can all do something. Every single person can do something. Today, when you give 500, 1,000 shillings to a child, it is gaining up in the pocket of the trafficker. It's not helping that child that you want to help. If we stop giving money to children on the streets, it will contribute a lot to reducing the numbers of children on the streets. If we stop giving food to the children on the streets, it will contribute a lot. Instead, let's channel that support to, to, to organizations that are working with children on the streets so that the money reaches the intended beneficiary, the victim, the child themselves. Louis Simic, the self-guarding manager Crane Network, explained that it is not right to give the street children money and other items, saying it has hindered most of the work of the line ministry and concerned organizations. There is an ordinance that has been passed by KCC A in order to solve that challenge. So it's now against the law if you try to give anything to the street child. Reason being you're making it comfortable for them to stay on the street, yet we don't want them to feel safe while at the street. Hence, it will help them stay at home. But also, whatever you're giving them, like money, goes to the traffickers, you know. These have called upon the communities to take up the responsibilities of parenting the children, mostly in these holiday seasons, to protect them and ensure they are given the fundamental rights. So, we would still call the public to come in more with more possible approaches, you know. The children that are living on the streets today, many rights have been violated and uh, it's our responsibility to take care of them. The, children, the babies that are abandoned, it's our responsibility to take care of them. The children that you find working in bars, working in, 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 um, in, in restaurants. Um. According to the Ugandan's estimates, as many as 15,000 children live on the streets of Ugandan's capital Kampala, aged from 7 up to the age of 17. Many are refugees who are fueled from their homes from the instabilities in the DROC and South Sudan. However, most are from the poor families, where children have left seeking a better future only to end up distributed on the city street, vulnerable to exploitation. This year's theme of the World Children's Day celebration is Every Child, Every Right.